Well, hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of this High Five Moments. I am Cam Davis, and he is Rob Key. And hey today, we have a very special guest. We have Nastasha Carasquillo. Welcome. How are you today? Hi. Good afternoon. It's good to Hi, see Stasha. you. Good, good, good. Well, Stasha is works at Turnstone, and Turnstone is an agency that helps kids, and actually not only kids, but people of all ages with disabilities. Um, they've been around for 76 years in the Fort Wayne community, yeah. and they're showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon. <laughs> Welcome. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, during the midst of all this craziness, we want to say thank you for hanging out with us. And secondly, what's new? What's on the radar with you? Well, I think everyone is dealing with a new life and way of going about life right now. Certainly different than what any of us would have expected about two months ago. But um, right now, I'm trying to make the most of being home with my girls. But uh, as you mentioned, Turnstone is not slowing down right now. And um, our work there has uh, continued full throttle. We're doing a lot of virtual efforts in reaching out to our clients in our community um, and serving people with disabilities from our homes. And that has been really excited to watch that transformation. Um, you know, when, when you're presented with a challenge, it's the perfect opportunity to um, create new opportunities um, and do things in new ways. You might not have done them before. And so we're trying to take advantage of that. So um, life is good. Life is crazy. Um, and it's unpredictable for all of us. But, um, but it's good. Good, 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 good. Well, I'll kick us off with our first question. And that is, you kind of already answered this, I guess I'll kind of expand on it. Um, you said that we're not slowing down anytime soon. We're finding new ways to be creative, um, being at home. So I guess my, my question for you is, during the midst of, create, of being, during the midst of this craziness and being creative, how are you making sure that people don't keep going down? Uh, can you say that? Can you say that again? Yeah, said, how are you making sure that, that your employees aren't getting burnt out during mm. So from the very beginning, um, I, we've been talking, or I've been talking with my team, and, and we've been talking as an agency a lot about self-care. And um, I know that's been a common topic in leadership and, um, and just life in recent years. But right now, especially, you know, we're, we're sort of all experiencing this shared trauma as we um, try to react to what's going on around us. And just acknowledging that that is what's happening and, and trying to take care of the mental well-beings of, of, our, of our staff and our team and our community and our clients and being really cognizant of that. So, um, you know, I'm always asking my team when we're meeting, you know, how are you doing? How are you sleeping? Um, yeah. You know, having conversations like that and then just also reminding them that, you know, let me know what you need. Um, if you need um, support and, and maybe it's not about your tasks, um, you know, maybe it's other, thing that's, other things that's going on um, you know, I have an open door and I'm here for you and we're going to get through this together. Um, so just keeping that at the forefront, you know, we're not going to ignore that challenge right now. Let's just hit it head on and support each other and get through it. Yeah, that's awesome. Great. Thank you, Stasha. Okay. Second question. What are you doing during this time where right now, at least, uh, at this particular point we're in quarantine, what are you doing, um, to, uh, continue in your personal development? Hmm. So good question. Um, and actually that kind of um, plays into um, the thought and something that I think is really important as a leader is to know that you have to lead yourself first um, mm -hmm. before you can lead others really well. And um, crisis leadership is a really interesting experience. And so um, First, I, I think there's two things that I'm doing. One, um, I'm trying to be self-aware of my own limitations. And when I find myself burning out, admitting that and, and trying to find some um, outlet for that. So whether that's, um, you know, the ways that I relax and kind of recharge, or maybe that's, you know, making sure I'm having intentional conversations so that I can um, kind of regroup myself. And then also um, I'm doing a lot of intentional um, reading and listening, you know, podcasts and videos um, to just remind myself of those core leadership values that are consistent um, in, in calm days and in crisis mode. Um, and, you yeah. know, it, the, those core values don't really change, but 
um, how they're executed and maybe their importance may vary day to day. And so um, I, I'm trying to stay in tune with those as much as I can. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Um, I hear the little ones around you. And <laughs> judging by the reflection behind you, it's like a very nice day outside. So my question is, uh, during this time, or even, <clears throat> even pre-corona and post-corona, what are some ways that work for you of how to unwind after a long day? Well, you called it. Um, being outside is one of my favorite elements of unwinding, um, which, you know, in Indiana, I only get to do that about maybe half of the year. Um, but, <laughs> it, <yeah. laughs> but I take advantage of it whenever I can, especially uh, right now in, in our self-quarantining mode. If it's nice outside, I'm trying to work outside. I'm trying to, you know, spend my evenings outside with the kids. Um, but, you know, in a perfect day, you know, Corona or no Corona, I, I love laying in my hammock in our backyard mm. and um, reading a book, preferably um, one I can hold in my hand. I'm not opposed to, you know, e-readers or, or audiobooks or anything, but to really unwind and disconnect and recharge, there's something about holding a book. Um, mm. So I, I think that would probably be my favorite way to unwind. Um, but when I can't do that, even just being able to get out and breathe some fresh air, um, it does wonders. Absolutely. Sounds good. <laughs> Where's my hammock? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the next question is, um, if you could go anywhere with your family after this whole quarantine crisis is over, where would it be? So with my family. So kids in tow, right? Yep. Okay. Um... Well, I, we're really itching to see some extended family that, that don't live in the area. Well, and honestly, even some family in the area that we've not seen for a couple of months because of all this. But uh, get, we get through all of that. And one of my husband and I, is one of our favorite places to go um, to sort of relax and just have quality time is Brown County. Um, they've got some really nice rental cabins down there and, uh, you know, there's something about the nature and the trees and there's fun shopping, you know, for anyone who knows that area, but there's also the state park and, uh, we've been down there a number of times in different seasons of the year. Um, and no matter when we go, there's always just something about that area that gives us some peace. Um, and I think, you know, just being able to breathe a little bit when this is all done as a family would be really nice. That's awesome. Great. Thank you. Well, Stasha, this is the final question that I have for you. It's pretty much a staple within, within our videos. So if you could choose to break bread with anyone, what would you choose? I never know how to answer this question. <laughs> this, um, is the bite, this is the bite the lip question every time. Man. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, and I feel like I always have numerous numerous names that come to mind and I never know yeah. how I could possibly choose. Um, I think, well, of course, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer, I'm a Christian. And so I think being able to ask God um, questions, especially right now, it'd be nice to hear some <laughs> answers, right? Um, so, but moving past that answer, even right now with some of the leadership podcasts and reading I've been doing, um, I would love to sit down with Simon. I can never pronounce his last name, right? Simon Sinek. Am I saying that Sinek? right? Uh -huh. Yes. Sinek? Yeah. Um, I just think the core values that he um, promotes with all of his principles and his books and his, um, his talks, um, it would be really energizing, I think, to just dive in with him and just... I don't even know if I'd want to eat dinner. Let's like, let's sit around the campfire and just talk <laughs> and let's talk about life and purpose and, and our whys and, and leading others. And um, the way he presents information just is really energizing to me. So I think that'd be a good dinner to have. Mm. That's awesome. Very cool. Great answer. Thank you so much, Stasha. Stasha, thank you for being with us. Uh, it's such a blessing. Um, we have a, a beautiful family. And we just uh, are so blessed to be able to have you uh, to be a part of our leadership team in this community. Um, if you uh, watching have any, um, or any, any interest in learning more about Turnstone, the Turnstone Center, please uh, go to turnstone.org, I believe. Is that correct? That's, that's okay. correct. Okay. So turnstone.org, I'm telling you, <laughs> they will give you a tour of a facility that will just blow your mind. And the work they're doing there is absolutely 
Um, unbelievable. So uh, we look forward to you being able to continue that work in even a greater capacity than you did before this whole crisis, Stasha. So please uh, tell your husband, Andre, and your beautiful little daughters that we said hi. And I will. We'll thank, thank them for lending us to you for, for a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I will. So, thank you for that. Well, God bless you. You're in our prayers, and we're going to do our high five moment. You ready? Three, two, one. High yep. five.